Welcome back to Random Mind Spark. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to be bursting with creativity while others struggle to think outside the box? Creativity, my friends, is not some mystical entity that only a select few are blessed with. It is not a trait that only artists or writers have. It is a skill, a way of thinking, a perception of the world that we all have within us. Whether you're a scientist, a teacher, a chef, or an engineer, creativity is vital to your work and your personal life. It's about connecting dots, seeing patterns, and exploring possibilities that others might overlook. It's about thinking differently, challenging norms, and daring to imagine. And the best part? Creativity isn't a fixed trait. It's a muscle. Yes, a muscle that can be flexed, trained, and developed over time. So next time you find yourself stuck in a rut, remember, it's not about having a creative gene. It's about exercising your creativity muscle. Creativity isn't an inborn talent, it's a skill you can develop like a muscle. So, what's happening in our brains when we get those sparks of creativity? Well, let's dive a little deeper and unravel this mystery. When we're being creative, our brains are like a symphony orchestra, with different sections working together in harmony. One of the key players in this ensemble is the right hemisphere of the brain, often dubbed the creative hemisphere. The right hemisphere excels at connecting disparate ideas, using its expansive network of neurons to draw parallels and links between concepts that may not seem related at first glance. It's like a master puzzle solver, taking pieces from different puzzles and fitting them together in new, unexpected ways. This is the process that allows a musician to create a new melody, a writer to craft a unique storyline, or an architect to design a groundbreaking structure. But that's not all. There's another fascinating process at play here known as neuroplasticity. This is the brain's ability to change and adapt as a result of experience. It's like the brain's own version of a workout, building up strength and flexibility with each new challenge. When we engage in creative activities, we're essentially giving our brains a rigorous workout, creating new connections between neurons. These new connections can then be harnessed in the future to generate even more creative ideas. It's a virtuous cycle, where creativity breeds more creativity. This is why practice is so important in any creative endeavor. Each time we practice, we're not just improving our skills, we're also reshaping our brains, paving the way for future creative sparks. It's akin to carving a new path through a forest. The more we tread on it, the more distinct and navigable the path becomes. So, the next time you're brainstorming for a new idea, remember that it's not just about that one aha moment. It's about the entire process, the journey your brain takes to reach that point of creative insight. Our brains are remarkable, constantly adapting and creating new pathways, enabling us to expand our creative abilities. Now that we understand how creativity works in our brains, how can we enhance it? Well, the first step is to embrace brainstorming. It's not about coming up with the perfect idea right away, but rather allowing your mind to explore various possibilities. Don't filter or judge your thoughts. Let them flow. You'll be surprised at the gems that can emerge from a sea of ideas. Next, consider mind mapping. This visual form of brainstorming lets you organize your thoughts around a central concept creating branches that represent related ideas. It's like having a conversation with your brain, allowing you to see connections that you might otherwise miss. Daily journaling is another great tool. It's a space for you to express your thoughts and feelings without restriction. Over time, you'll begin to see patterns and insights that can fuel your creativity. But perhaps the most crucial element in boosting creativity is adopting a growth mindset. This means believing that your creative abilities can be developed through dedication and hard work. A growth mindset encourages you to embrace challenges, persist in the face of setbacks, and see effort as a path to mastery. And let's not forget about curiosity. It's the spark that ignites the flame of creativity. Ask questions, seek answers, and explore the world around you. The more you learn, the more creative you become. Remember, Every small step you take towards nurturing your creative thinking will pay off in the long run. We've just scratched the surface of the science behind creativity, 
and how you can boost your own. But remember, the journey of exploring creativity does not stop here. It is an ongoing process, an adventure that unfolds with each passing day. Take the insights shared in this video, apply them, and watch as your creative world expands. If you've enjoyed learning about the science of creativity today, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Random Mind Spark for more thought-provoking content. Remember, your mind is a garden, so let your ideas bloom.